Grandpa Newby reporting for duty with a second of the two new weapons in Season 6, the DTIR 6 or as some people are saying, the reincarnation of the BAR. Well, let's take a look at the camo grind. Obviously, you already have it to Interstellar. Pretty easy grind here. 50 Gax with a 30 out 6. That's after you get it to level 3. Then the atoms abound. Look at those atoms and orbits and whatever. 50 kills while fully auto, which pretty easy. <laughs> Then the peaks and valleys, and you can see those in the electronic. Not quite sine waves, just peaks and valleys. Ten with scope attached. And then finally, for the starlight, star bright, which looks like an active camo, pretty nice. Fifteen headshots. Once you get, get that, you can go for the gilded challenge, which is ten headshots while moving. And then two operator kills without dying 25 times. And finally, for the priceless camo, get 15 shortly after ADS. So this one only took a couple of games to get everything completed for the Interstellar. And you can see they still have the bug, complete 36 forge camo challenges. And Grandpa has done, instead of a check mark, 60 out of the 36. So let's take a look at the configuration. Now I've gotten about 800 kills, I think 813 with this weapon so far. And this is the configuration that I think works best for me. And we start out with the 40 round mag. That's almost a must. It hurts everything. Reload quickness, 3.2 seconds. The empty reload quickness. Sprint to fire speed, only 1%. The rest of them, less than 5%. So it's worth carrying it. Now it's a good place to look at the damage. Headshot is 67 upper and lower torso at 58 and the upper legs at 45 so it's going to be a three shot kill if you keep it in the lower torso and above you can never get a two shot kill with it three shots on a fully healthy enemy effective damage range reaches out to 21.1 meters but the long shots were quite easy with this weapon rate of fire isn't bad they say it's slow but it's 472 rounds per minute you're putting out a per torso 58 damage at almost 500 rounds per minute. So that's pretty good. You can have a look at the recoil. I didn't find it to be a factor. And the hip fire accuracy was okay as I was needing it. Movement speed close to 5 meters per second. And these are composite numbers. All the attachments we've hung on this beast. The crouch movement speed, you can see that. Sprint speed, 5.6 meters per second. Tax sprint speed, less than the LSW, the cast off LSW LMG on all of these numbers. The ADS movement speed though is 3.3 meters per second so you can bounce left to right almost like an SMG with this weapon making yourself harder target to hit and therefore buying the farm a few less times in a game. ADS speed is a little bit slow at 271 milliseconds but the sprint to fire is 151 milliseconds which is a really good sprint to fire speed. The Hotel 45 grip, and that helps with the sprint to fire speed, hurts the recoil, but at 26.77 degrees per second kick, horizontal recoil is almost non-existent at less than 10 degrees per second, and vertical recoil is easily controllable. You can shop around if you want to improve the recoil, but I advise against it. The Hotel 45 grip is the one you need. The Bruin Minuteman stock. Once again, sprint to fire speed, ADS movement speed, 14%. Helps with the hip fire accuracies, tax stance accuracy, and every once in a while you're going to need that hip fire. So I found this one handy. Again, I was willing to give up recoil because the recoil numbers are outstanding with this weapon. The Shadowcaster Suppressed Barrel. And you can see that actually helps the recoil a lot. Hurts ADS speed, but only 4%. And what Grandpa says, less than 10%. You probably aren't going to notice it. Same with Sprint to Fire Speed. But the neat thing about this barrel, increases the bullet velocity to 990 meters per second. But you have a suppressed barrel, meaning you don't need a suppressor, a two-for-one on the attachments. And at 990 meters per 
second. That's almost a 50 meter hit scan. So 990 divided by 10 is 99 divided by 2 is 49 and a half meters. So at 49 and a half meters, your shots are going to be just like a hit scan. And speaking of shots, let's go to the shooting range and have a quick look at how this weapon does. I felt the sights give you a lot of visibility. The iron sights, so I did not add any optic. You can also single shot very quickly. You can see there's almost no recoil whatsoever. All right, let's take the DTIR 30-06 onto the field of honor. See how it did for Grandpa. See what it did to Grandpa's enemies. Let's go. Let's get into this. The DTIR. Say it. I don't know if you remember officer and a gentleman. Now, this is kind of not the good place for this battle rifle, and that's on a charnel house or DOS house with bodies everywhere, people shooting from every direction. This would be better on a... I just threw it off the map. I threw my stunner, my flasher off the map. Ooh. Tommy Chong. And finally, Grandpa gets gacked. So I found that, you know what? It's pretty good. That was hip fire mostly there. At the hip fire seems good if you need it. And a lot of power. Three shot kill. If anybody's wounded at all, it can be quickly a one shot kill. This little jump shot there. It works with battle rifles too. Where are they? I've got it on Platinum Camo there, or I guess Forge, because I'm doing the Camo Masteries. You know, that's 100 with Gilded. Ha! Ouch. Tommy Chong got me. Close match. I'm going to shoot at the blood spot there. I don't know what that is. I don't know what kind of skin that is. If anybody can tell me what that's supposed to be, whatever it is, it's not working. I can't believe they would charge for something like that. So I think it's 200 with forged, 300 with priceless, and 500 with interstellar, and you get the mastery, that little accoutrement you can dangle from your weapon where there's always somebody back there there's always a muppet there's some people that just muppetize this map the entire game and i don't understand how you can go just like stay in the same three square feet for an entire map the guy's trying to oh noxima face night cream face is trying to stab poor old grandpa and that guy he did manage to sell me the farm, I gotta admit it. Of course, there are people doing... Grandpa's doing some work, too, with this weapon. You know what? I think this weapon, is it overpowered? Yes, it is. It is. And Grandpa's got the rhythm in him. It's got to come out. It's got to come out after a win like that. Just the entire Saturday Night Fever repertoire... That's yeah, kind of a cheese kill at the end, but it's a Snickers win. 30 kills, 30 gags. Snickers, it's so satisfying. So hopefully I can get a map where I can get some medium range shots. You can see that I've switched to priceless because I've got the 200 gags. And that's a bad start. Dying is no way to make a living, boy. Right off the bat. There's somebody at distance, and you can see that I... Did some strafing there, left to right. Grandpa is hard to hit. Oh, ooh, ooh. incredible rubber eraser, man. That's the pay to win skin. A lot of people still using it. I can't wait till it goes away because I just think it's completely unfair to people who are not willing to spend money on skins, which most of us aren't, they're expensive. 
get those all black skins so it'll make you harder make up for your lack of, lack of skill when you wear those I'm just messing with you I can't believe that Tommy Chong peaked and you can see that he was Elvis which is kind of confusing Tommy Chong is not Elvis Oh, that guy got gagged. Oh, Tommy Chong. Oh, we won't talk about this. We won't talk about those misses, but guess what? I've got the suppressed barrel on, so he's having a hard time figuring out where those shots came from. Of course, I had no hard time figuring out where those shots came from, but I went back and got that guy. You don't know, stick bullets in Grandpa's ear and expect just to stand where you did it. Another little strafing there. Doesn't look like much from my point of view, but the enemy, I look like I'm bouncing back and forth. Yeah, okay. But you still got gacked. So this is a close match. I mean, I would get up four. Somebody else would get up a couple on me, tie it up, whatever. That's not important. What's important is that this weapon is absolutely awesome. It's a three-shot gack. If somebody is just a little bit hurt, all of a sudden you got a two or a one shot. Oh, look at there. Look at there. That's going to sledgehammer poor old grandpa. What kind of fiend does that kind of action on, on a 66-year-old man? There we go. There we go. So you can see that. I absolutely pinpoint accurate. I heartily rep <laughs> reprimand. I heartily recommend this configuration, and no, I will not reprimand you if you do not use it. Towards the end of this this map, oh, now see how can somebody throw an insta insta thermite on Grandpa barbecue on a Friday or a Saturday or a Sunday barbecue? Oops, I didn't quite make the jump there. Oh, ouch. There's, there's the hammer, man. May he always get one shot gacked. Anybody? I'm telling you, the um, there are a lot of people who love to melee, and with 150 health, I don't... Not sure how it's going to work out in uh, Black Ops 6. I don't know if it's a permanent thing. I think the guys that can throw knives are skillful. Now, not the ones that are using steroids. So anyway, it was a tie. Oh, my gosh. Appreciate you watching. Please like and subscribe. Give me your comments on the configuration. I'll see you on the field of honor. Cheers and peace.